Hey guys, Chili here and welcome back to another episode of Create Perfect World. If you like this series, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think. And let's get on with today's episode. Okay, oh, okay, no, a cave centipede. Okay, okay, oh, okay, it hurts. Go back. Oh my god. What the hell is that, dude? In between episodes, I've been busy. Because I've been sprucing up the place. Let me show you. First of all, as you can see, I moved the farm from there to there. There's a, there's a sneak peek right there over there. I'm going to show you later what I built over there. But for the meantime, focus on the farm. So the farm is consists with tomatoes, carrots, cabbages, and wheat. And also I added some sheep and cows. I'll explain that later. In the last episode, I told you I'd make a tunnel bore system or say a quarry. Well, this is my definition of a quarry. As you saw in the intro, I was writing on this and it's pretty efficient. It's basically infinite. Um, I watched a tutorial on YouTube on how to make this construction and I will put his video link in the description. So basically it's a basic machine that has drills on the front. This deployer will deploy our powered rails and this deployer is gonna place blocks beneath the powered rail. So for instance lava or let's say water or a hole in some way it's gonna place a block down so that the power rail will have a block to be placed on. And this deployer will deploy the redstone block that will power the powered rails. And in the back, it's pretty easy. I got two gold chests that will hold the ores and the uh, deep slate. The mechanical plow will plow the powered rails and put it back into the system. And this will place it again. Basically, it's infinite loop. And this drill here is, is responsible for the breaking of the redstone blocks. And put it back in the system and then we'll place it back down. Basically it's infinite. And I got to right here. So back to the base. You're wondering what the hell is that building? And where did all the construction that I built go? So this is a work in progress. This building is. I've been working on this um, in between episode gathering the granite. And I decide to build this whole thing. And I rebuilt our mechanical press system and our mechanical mixer system. As you can see, it's more tidy and it's com I made it compact. So there's a water wheel below this, powering the whole system and along with a lot of gearbox involved. In this episode of Great Perfect World, we're gonna make an automatic andesite alloy farm and that will give us infinite amount of andesite for free. But for now, what, I'm, what I want to do is I've looked at the map and there's a lot of village that I have uncovered that I didn't explore just yet. For example, I was caving here and it has uncovered this. If you can see, this is not a normal village right there and right there. And I'm lucky there's one here and one here so close together. Another one right over here. And I want to visit them in this episode because I'm curious. And along the way, I would like to get some love of for the automatic on the side farm. Well, I just spent all the iron. Finally, the rain has stopped. But what I want to talk about is I made a tank upgrade in my backpack so I can carry a lot of lava. We're all set for adventure and let's go. The village is not far from here. It's 125. It should be over this hill. And there it is. So this is the village. It's a lot nicer. Damn. Joey, my friend. 
there's a head here. That's not creepy at all. Piper, what's up? Free bow. Hour of regeneration, leaping, slow falling. I'm not gonna steal anything. But I'm gonna steal you. <laughs> Sorry, Liana. Start puzzle. What puzzle? Oh, it's a parkour. Okay, you can do this. Pretty. Okay. Pretty, pretty easy parkour. Why? Basically, I have to wall run. There we go. And iron. More parkour. Why? Really? Yeah. Take more bread and emerald. But I'm the master. What? Really? Rotten flesh? Made it. And I already wore this rotten flesh. Really? Some lapis? I thought it was gonna be diamonds. Now that we're home and our adventure is over, we're gonna start making our automatic undecided alloy farm. So if you noticed in the beginning or while we're exploring, I have already have the materials here crafted before this episode even got recorded. I'm gonna start building it here, right here. I think it's tree wide, I don't know. But I'm gonna start building it here and I'm gonna show you when I'm finished and I'm gonna explain it to you as the as best that I can. So meet you when I'm done. So this is the finish design of the andesite alloy farm. As you can see it's making me an andesite alloy. So basically, let me show you. This is a cobblestone generator right here. And then Mechanical drill is draining them out and then the mill is turning them into uh, gravel, into gravel, right? Then going to a chute and then going through chest. And this is a brass belt funnel which only shoots 10 gravel at a time because it's set right there via extract amount, right? And then under the belt as you can see there's a fan and water that's basically cleaning up the gravel turning it into flint and iron nuggets and then this brass tunnel is connected right the iron nugget will send out out here and the flint is going in here i think <laughs> and the gravel is going straight through here because it's needed in here so basically there are filters in the brass belt funnel which is filtering gravel right here and then this one is filtering out iron nuggets to make andesite is basically gravel flint and lava okay with the lava production let me show you to generate lava there's a lava pool here above and then dripstone basically it's infinite lava source but it's painfully slow to generate lava so there's eight of them so it f makes the process a lot faster i guess and then there are fluid pipes that collects the lava from here and going straight into this basin to make andesite then the andesite gets through here through an andesite belt funnel then it makes and decide alloy that's basically the gist of the machine and powering it all is a wind turbine if you look at back here i know it's complicated but it's actually not so basically power is going straight down here to a gearbox and then straight to a rotational speed controller i've set mine to 22 but default is 16. You can change the speed by holding right click like that if you want your machines to go very very slow um, i don't know why you would do that but i will set mine back to 22 because 23 it will stop stop the machines it will be overstressed so i'm gonna put mine to 22. actually this default is 16 so i'm gonna leave mine at default because i don't need the speed because the lava can't even keep up there are in case chain drives going through the belt. 
I mean going through the drill, above the rotational speed controller there's a cog. And the cog is connected to another cog, large cog I mean, and then the large cog is connected to a cogwheel. This cogwheel is powering the mills and it's going through a shaft going to a vertical gearbox and a shaft going straight to the belt which powers the whole system. So basically that's it. This is going this is getting power from here as you can see. The belt is here. There's a shaft beneath the belt, which is powering the belt itself, but it's going to the gearbox, powering powering the mechanical press, at the same time the mechanical pump. Same goes through here, a vertical gearbox going to a shaft, going to a cogwheel, and to the mechanical mixer. That's basically the gist of the machine. It's fairly simple and ideal, but it's very complex actually. So make sure if you built this machine, um, make sure to jumpstart the machine by filling up the cauldron with the lava. If you're unlucky like me, that doesn't generate ton of lava at the start and I almost forget to mention this design is created by Tara Lore. I'm gonna leave the full video in the description if you want to learn more if you want to recreate the system step by step it's really good it's, it's a really good tutorial on how to build an automatic andesite alloy farm so if you if you want I'm gonna leave the link down below but that's gonna be it for me guys thank you guys for watching if you guys like this video make sure to leave a like down below comment what you think about this video and this machine in general and if you have any suggestion leave down leave it down in the comment section down below and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell ding ding and that's gonna be it for me it's chilly and i'm out